South Florida continues to be a popular recruiting spot for college coaches. The guru of high school football joins Mike Cunha to talk about this year's class for the CBS Miami Nat Moore Trophy. Larry Bluestein joining me now. Blue, it, it's kind of appropriate we're here in the Dolphins facility because I'm sure Nat Moore is pacing the halls <laughs> yeah. somewhere trying to figure out who's going to win this year's Nat Moore trophy. And it's funny, I think when you look across Dade and Broward, there isn't that runaway candidate that we no. saw last year in Jeremiah Smith. Um, what do you make of the parity that we've seen this year when it pertains to the Nat Moore trophy? Yeah, that's a good question because of the fact, I think for the last couple of years, you had a couple of defined people. You could have six and seven and yeah. people coming in in the Final Four. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was like that last year. You know, you had all these uh, big-time players. Obviously, Chaminade and St. Thomas yeah. has done a tremendous job. This year, you, ha you could go either county and pick out two, three players that you could think, hey, listen, you know, there's nobody. We still have a lot of kids getting recruited. Yeah. But at the same time, there's not that one defined guy who's a generational player. Is there a guy right now, maybe maybe pick one from each county that you can think, hey, they have a legit shot? Well, uh, two kids from Day County, obviously, Ennio Yapur, right. all-time leading passer from uh, uh, Miami, Orland. New Orleans, yeah. uh, started since the eighth grade at Champignac Catholic, and then a wide receiver, Nashawn Montgomery. Mm -hmm. um, here's a, a young man who's a big-time kid. He came in from Cardinal Newman last year. Everybody loves him. He does it. You know, he, he'll stand out during a game. In Broward County, Byron Lewis headed to Florida State University. We got a chance to see him last week. Big-time running back. I mean, this is a big – this is one of those guys, you know, yeah. you take a look at and say, hey, you know, when he gets to the next level. Uh, and then his teammate, Malachi Tony, who just um, – I think he, he was a 2026 player. Now he's a 2025 player. Um, he reclassified, that's yeah. the word. Um, another guy um, plays wide receiver, plays uh, safety, was committed to Miami, and now he's kind of backed off. But I have a feeling that you'll see as time goes on, mm -hmm. he's that type of player that – in the first year and you know you and I talk you look at Florida State you look at Florida you look at Miami and the difference in those three schools is Miami is recruited extremely well at the high school level they parlayed the, the you know the obviously the portal with good high schools Florida State has to do that in this cycle they have to come up with some of those guys and having Byron Lewis is a yeah. huge start yeah there's a lot of guys uh, you know Larry named four we could probably name about eight to twelve yeah. guys yeah. who are actually in serious contention for this award that's why you got to go out, vote, nominate, natmoretrophy.com, get it done, because this is about going to be one of the tightest races I think we've ever seen I with agree. the trophy. Uh, and you, you said it right. Get out there and vote. You always ask us, you know, how we, how can our guy get in there? Right now is the time, because once they get those four finalists, then it's uh, it's between those four. Then it's on, then it's a nitty-gritty time. All right, right. Uh, Blair, thanks so much. Anytime, Mike. You too can nominate your favorite high school football player. Head to natmoretrophy.com. The CBS Miami Natmore Trophy is sponsored by FPL, working for you every single day. Learn more at fpl.com slash storm.